Hi, I'm Dick Norris and I'm welcoming you to International Ocean Discovery Program Leg 361, an oceanographic expedition that we call the South African Safari. Now tomorrow I get on an airplane here in La Jolla, California, and I fly to New York, and then take a grueling 14-hour flight to Johannesburg, South Africa, and then <laughs> another four and a half hours out into the Indian Ocean to the tiny tropical island nation of Mauritius. There I join a ship, uh, the Joides Resolution, which is a giant drill ship that's capable of drilling holes even in the deep parts of the ocean. And I'll join 30 other scientists from all over the world, uh, and we're gonna go off on this amazing adventure where we sail back to South Africa and we drill a series of holes in the seabed from Madagascar uh, down to Cape Town. Now what are we after? Well, it's very simple. We're after mud, glorious mud because that mud contains this wonderful fossil record of everything that happened on land and actually in the ocean around South Africa. So it contains pollen from grass and from trees, it contains dust blown off the land surface, and it contains even charcoal from wildfires. Everything that gets washed or blown into the ocean gets deposited on the bottom of the ocean and we can drill into it to recover this fascinating history. And the basic point is that South Africa, of course, is a cradle of human uh, evolution. Uh, and so we will get the first really detailed record, you know, of how the climate and the ecosystems of Southern Africa evolved as we did. And I'm really excited uh, for that kind of thing as a paleontologist. A second major goal, however, is also to study uh, salt and glaciers. And you might not think that those things are very connected, except perhaps we use, of course, road salt to melt ice uh, in the wintertime. But it turns out that we think that there's a link between how much salt is transported by currents around the southern tip of Africa from the Indian Ocean and how big the glaciers are that form in the northern hemisphere on Greenland, on North America, and also on Europe. And if that sounds a little bit mysterious, that's because it actually is. We're trying to understand that whole process of how southern hemisphere salt impacts the climate and the glacial history of the northern hemisphere. Now, I view the Joides Resolution like it's a giant time machine where we are watching a high-definition movie unfold of how South African climate and actually global climate uh, evolves at the same time as the appearance of the first members of humanity. We will be uh, sort of acting like detectives, trying to piece together the details of that movie, put the whole story together to reconstruct this incredibly detailed history of the Earth over the last five million years. So that's all for now. Uh, I will see you in Mauritius. <laughs>